Good morning. It's another weird weather day here, so I've put the ring light on. It's a bit bright, but, you know, sunshine and showers. Good old England. Right, I'm doing Rachel Roxy Creations Week 30 Mini Trifold Accordion Ephemera Holder. Now, I did a prototype because I watched that on Monday and I thought if I don't do a prototype, I'm going to forget what I'm supposed to be doing by Saturday. <laughs> so here we are. Um, yeah, I've used Velcro and... I think this is what she did as far as I can remember um yeah just three pockets so shall we get going why not so well I'm just gonna go from now 45 minutes um I need to make um I thought I'd make a little Christmas one because I'm doing this little uh Christmas hedgehog journal um it is quite diddy it's a bit wet on the front so I don't want to go too mad um, I'm thinking it's quite eclectic the paper inside it's all sorts of different colours so I'm not really going Christmassy with this um, I thought I'd use this one I thought that was quite nice so yeah I want to do one for in here basically so let's get on with it shall we right so I've ripped out a load of book pages it's out of that bird book they're quite shiny but they're quite sturdy so I've kept I've you know I thought they would be fine and I sort of ripped them roughly. Yeah, I'm going to need to rip those down a bit. I just took the pages and, and ripped them. I think it was four inches. Uh, let me ruin this on the runner. There it is. Yeah, four inches ish by seven inches ish. <laughs> so, right. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this one first because I really need one for my little hedgehog book. Um, right, okay, so if I get the size of my page that I want first of all, I'll rip that down in a minute. I don't know if you're seeing all this. Let me lift you up a little bit. Hold on. I'll put you down a bit low, I think. There we are. Right. Okay. So I hope you're all well. Um, yeah, I've been a bit been procrastinating. Oh, I'm the world's worst at it. Got a lot to do, and you know, you just get in that state of mind where you're like, "Oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that," and you never, you just don't go on and do anything. Right. So I think that's fine. I want to leave a good bit of space at the top there. Paper isn't straight. Oh, I had a bone folder. There it is. Okay. So you need to come in a little bit. Um, pencil. <laughs> I swear stuff grows legs in my room. Looking, looking. Ah, buried. So if I cut three, about that size, and that'll do. These are a great little idea. I like these. Got it really nice in the journals, so hopefully I can get a few done. But you know, best laid plans and all that. There's the one with the mark there. safe because I've um, put stickles there and it's still wet uh, where are you going to be safe um, over there right okay because <laughs> no me I'll just plonk something straight on top of it because you know that's the way I roll right okay that's good so now in this one I did punch thumb things so I'm thinking 
I'll do the same again. Um, right, yeah. I will switch the brain on in a minute. I don't think it'll go through all three, but we'll try. Oh, oh, no, don't slip. No, okay. I think it's easier if you do make a thumb hole. I really want those to line up. Picky, picky, picky. But yeah. Quite a bit of catching up to do today with my challenges and that. I've, um, there was a video before this one um, with all the goodies that I've been sent. Oh, honestly, you guys are just the best. I just don't have enough time to um, make stuff and that is really beginning to frustrate me. I need to quit my job. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be thrilled to hear that. Um, I think I'll get around the corners. I quite like that. Now I rounded the corners on this one but I think I think I decided that was more of a hindrance. I don't know. Um, this looks nicer to me somehow while I'm doing it and on it. I've got time to I'll leave those straight I think this time. Right, this see I'm starting to work in the three inch space again. Right, let's move you over there. Let's move you up there. Right, so first job is to stick the edges down. Finally used the last of my uh, art glitter glue in the big bottle. I've decanted it into my little one again. I just find these a little bit easier to handle. Get rid of a lot of glue. Okay. One. I know Rachel said to sort of mass make the covers and then mass make the inside, but um, I think I'll do them one by one. Just because I start to, um, I get them all done and then I get to the end and I've run out of time to do the decorating and stuff. And this one I definitely want done because that journal will be ready to go then. So. That's my thinking behind this one in particular. I just pulled out a load of scraps actually. I haven't even cut any um, uh, into fresh pieces basically. So stick that in there. Okay. Doesn't cut very straight. Should I worry? No, I'm not going to worry. Okay. Right. Um. Take in a little bit of a bit of a juice, especially the front one. It's a nice bird, but it's upside down. <laughs> so we'll put that one to the back. Okay, I think that'll be all right. Yeah, I've covered the last one. All right, so just a very simple line of glue. Get your glue out, that helps. Down the middle. It is quite nice to have those lined up actually. Um, it just looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Right. I don't know why I 
put you away I need you again and again on the back just do a single line don't glue the whole thing it does make a difference which now I'm going to come up very slightly why have you moved oh, you haven't it's me For the front, I've got this um, doily. So I think, no, doily, um, napkin. So I was thinking of collaging that on there. I think I'll go around the edges first. Just get my, uh, I've got some water in my water brush. That'd be a miracle if I have. Doesn't need a lot. I've got a busy week next week. I um, very conveniently had my first and second child two days apart. <laughs> so one's on the One's on the third and the other one's on the fifth. The eldest is on the third and Annie, my middle one, is on the fifth. And then um, there's me on the 13th and their father is on the 13th as well. So, um, yeah, my youngest daughter, who was born in May, often moans about the fact that there's four of us in her family all in August. She said, my bank balance takes a right hammer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't do it on purpose, I can assure you. So I think if I just put that there. Yeah, if you've got families like that or, or days like that in your um birthday, it's just crazy. I don't which way which way is up. August is a crazy month for us basically, so I'm thinking that way. Okay. So I just need a circle about there. So we're trying to organise a um a meal. But um I'll have to see. One place we, we love to go, we all love to go, is um currently closed at the moment. Either they can't get staff, I don't know, or um there's been an outbreak, I don't know. So there's nothing on their website to say why they are closed. But it's one of those places that um, uh, they do lovely meals and, and at a good price, you know, not, um, not a rip-off price. Not that straight edge. Probably going to use a bit of that bow. Oh, that's okay. Um, yeah, so busy week. So my middle one and I are going into the city centre on Monday. Um, the um, place that she works for have, um, I can't remember how many years, it's like a bonus thing. So she's been given a voucher to spend at another, another venue in the same what would you call it in the same group basically so um there's one in exeter she informs me so we're going to go in there on monday and we're going to have a nice slap up meal for nothing <laughs> thank you very much we did it last year as well we went to um there's one right in the city center but we're going to go to uh, the one on the quay in exeter which if you've never been is beautiful it's um well, the ships used to go up there, uh, right up, but um, they don't anymore now. I'm going to chop a little bit off there because I really want to see all of that. Yeah, it used to be a proper, proper harbour. Well, harbour, a quay. You know, the ships used to come up the canal, drop off all the goods, etc, etc. But um, yeah, they don't now. There is a boat that comes up, actually. It's a nice river trip. 
and takes you down to X mouth, the mouth of the River X, which Exeter sits on. So there you go. A bit of logic for you. Right, like that. Okay. Um, I feel it needs. Um, I've got these flowers. I was wondering about one of those. That's quite pretty, isn't it? That one. It's a bit more of a statement. Oh, well, I think that'll be enough. Okay, sorted. I'm trying to keep my desk organised. <laughs> Not happening, but you know, one tries. So yeah, busy week. So I work two days next week. It's a short week next week, thank goodness. So probably going to need it to recover. Well, I think it's the following week I've got off. I can't remember. I have to. Check my work calendar. Can't remember. I know I've got the Friday of my birthday off, so well it's Friday the thirteenth. Gosh, a lot of people are the um there's people actually got a phobia for that, isn't there? But I don't care, it's my birthday. <laughs> I was born on a Monday, if that makes any difference. Yeah, like okay. I think um I think I'll put a little bit of writing paper here. I did it on the other one as well, so I've got some scrappy bits up here. What have I got? I've got these. So if I rip it about there. And I won't bother there, but I'll do it here because we've got grounded oh actually I need to adjust the width first dear right so if we just take off from there yep that's cool I just definitely want to get this one done and then the rest of it can just flow after that. These Giottos, they used to be a really good glue, but they're all mushy, which is not what you want, basically. I think, was it? I think it was Rachel, wasn't it? She said she was having trouble with hers this time. If they changed the formulation or something stupid, but... Why do people change things when they're working really well? Ugh. Got me rag ready this time. Oh, covered in glue. Right. Oogie dook. Um, right, so that's it, isn't it, basically? Yeah, I've got a load of ephemera sat here. These are little notebooks that I made out of packaging. They're quite handy. Let's shove one of those in there if you fit. Go in. Come on, I designed you to fit. Right, that's better, thank you. What was that all about? Now these, if you go on Nick the Booksmith, well they were on Pinterest, um, she does a free printable. Um, they're just little foldy uppy note things, but yeah, I found those the other day. So I do like me a freebie. And then I made some Oh, I collage those, yeah. So I couldn't remember how I made them. So I put that in there. Oh, yeah. See, that's why I think it's quite important to have those. Let's um, let's shift this around. Actually, let's move you to there. Oh, 
just keep getting caught up going. Hopefully. Go on. In. Right, yes, yeah, so that's why it's important to leave a bit of a gap at the top there. Yeah, see, you can see there's ephemera in there, so I think that's pretty cool. There we are. So you can get quite a bit in actually, but I think that'll do. Now the reason I'm stuffing it is because I didn't stuff this one first. And when I put the Velcro dots on, I thought oh, it's not going to match, but it did actually. It was okay. Um, yeah, so it kind of I kind of scooted past that. Now I haven't got Velcro dots, so what I did was I have got a sheet of um, a sticky Velcro. I don't even know where I got this from, but obviously it's got the the two pieces so I ran it through my Sizzix machine on a um, <sighs> it makes the whole reinforcers I couldn't think of the word uh, so yeah I've just been using those but for this one I might use the slightly larger ring if I can get the darn thing out come on it has cut through it's just where the sticky let's just do that the stickiness holding it together but I don't trust it wholly so it's quite big actually isn't it I'll use the dot bit again I think so what I did was I took both sides of the sticky off put some art glitter glue on Kind of got the middle ish. I'm going to mess this up if I don't do it properly. Come on, get off my finger. Thank you. Even though it's sticky, I, I always I never quite trust it completely. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, actually, yeah, down there. I hope there are. There are tweezers. Thank you. There we go. Right. and then yeah that is sticky but belts and braces belts and braces um you could use the um document things you know the windy ones darn went down too low there that'll be fine have faith Right, so I just did that and then just stuck it under my glass mat to just let it stick and then um, when you pull the velcro apart it's not too bad but there we are that's one but one that I need so that's all good and that'll just fit in the um, actually it might go in the front yeah I could stick it there couldn't I yeah I think I will do that but it needs to dry Right, okay, okay. One, I need something quite heavy to put. Um, yeah, just leave it there for a minute. Right, okay, one. How long did that take? I'm interested. Oh, cracky, 24 minutes. It didn't normally take that long. And I've got all the stuff ready as well, which is ironic. Okay, just going to do. Um, I've got a bit of file folder here. So I think we're just going to do a. A plainish one which I can then decorate to um, fit whatever. Yep, yeah, it's about size. Okay, let's fold that in half. We well, haven't just got to put three, you can put as many as you like, I would have thought. I think if you were going to put more than three, you'd have to make a gusset in the bottom though, because it needs um, space to expand. I think three is fine. They're just little ephemera holders at the end of the day, so this is not cut straight at all. Well wonky. So we'll do this first. 
I might even stay in that screen. Yeah. Yeah. This might make a bit of a clog. Hold your ears. needs to be that long does it um let's do a decorative edge this time shall we oh, where's my decorative edge scissors see susan if you only put stuff back where it's supposed to go you'd find things funny that oh if anyone in the uk has got a source for a decorative um, ruler a tear ruler not the We Are Memory Keepers one. I want the metal one. Um, I don't know if you watch Artie May. She's got one by Plaid. Can I find it in the UK? No, can I fairy dust? So yeah, if you... Um, they're out, on out of stock on Amazon. eBay hasn't got any. I've looked everywhere. And I thought I'd got one from Craft Stash the other day. But it arrived. And it was... The plastic it was made from was so thick that when you tried to tear, it wouldn't tear. It just ripped the whole paper. It was shocking. I can't remember the brand, but um, yeah, I can't remember who made that one, but I've sent it back. And that's the first time I've ever sent anything back to um, Craft Stash. I usually love all their stuff. But um, yeah, it had to go. It had to go back, I'm afraid. I said to him, I mean, it's £6.49p. And I thought, no, I'm not wasting £6.49p. It can jolly well go back to from whence it came. So it did, or it has. They don't provide postage, but it was only a second class large letter, so um, which is like 93p to save six pound odd. Yeah, no, no brainer. So yeah, I'm still struggling to find one. I want one. I decided I want one, but um, of course, can't find one. It's the same as the Tim Holtz Wallflower 12 by 12. Can you find it in the UK? Nope. I'm watching one on um, uh, eBay at the moment, but I think it's going to skyrocket because sellers, people that have got them, have realised that actually, because he's not doing them anymore, they're now worth a lot of money. I mean, one guy has gone from, he had it initially out for £16, something like that, and he's now put it up to 26 for all crafty. But... If you want it, you'll pay it because I say we just can't. I can't find it in the UK anywhere, not for love nor money. You can find the other ones, but not the wallflower one, which is what I want. So, yeah. And I bet out in the States you've got like millions of them in your craft shops. It's worth getting them and selling them because <laughs> we haven't got any here in the UK. Right. Okay. So this one, I think I'm just going to make quite non-specific, really. So, um, sorry, I need my big one back. That was a lot of talking while I was inking, wasn't it? Sorry, I do blather on a bit. But, you know, there's my frustration. I'll see if they've got one of the um, West Point shows on again in eight weeks time which is the big one it's the um, it's a bigger craft company a lot of our locals don't go to it unfortunately because it is so expensive and um, they do charge an awful lot of money for a one meter space and you know if you are just starting out I think it is considered a trade show. Well, no, it's not trade. It's not trade at all. But if you are sort of new, I'll tell you who I did see the um, first time ever uh, was uh, Pink Ink. I mean, they're a big company now because their stuff was amazing. I've actually got some of their first. Um, they did like uh, printed fabric that you then went in with watercolours and made into 
well, whatever you want to make them into, I suppose. But um, yeah, I've still got a couple of their original designs that they come out with. I haven't, I haven't inked them or anything yet. So, um, but yeah, they're they're quite a big company now. Their stamps are very well known. They do do some very elaborate designs. Right, that's not very even, is it? Oh, it's good enough. Come on, Susan. Stop faffing. Right, and glue the edges first. I might only get two done. <laughs> but, you know, you know me. I did all the pre prep. We've only got one done. I could leave this plain bit on the outside, but I did that on the other one and it just looked a bit meh. So um, that's why I flipped this one round. I had the. Um, I had it that way. What do I want? It's all about birds, so it doesn't, it's nothing offensive at all. So I think we'll just go with that. slightly off centre so it'll have to stay that way because yeah, I really like it when the thumb holes match up that is a little bit of um, OCD not that I'm OCD at all but some things I'm definitely not OCD <laughs> it's a stupid statement Susan <laughs> you OCD you're having a laugh We have them at the front view. Oh, you're upside down. All right, let's go that one. Okay. Just going to leave a little bit of space at the bottom. This is where I need my tear ruler. <sighs> yes, I want the flat one, but the metal one. But yeah. well, they do, they are selling them, but they're um, they're sort of putting them out there as um, more sort of for art. You know, tearing your watercolor paper and stuff like that to give it a deco edge, and they want thirty six pounds, and I'm like, no. No, <laughs> not happening. I just want it to tear paper, for goodness sake. I don't want anything posh. So. Ugh, it's so mushy. We might go flower. Sorry for reaching in front of you. Um, we can just up the side here or something. Just a like 
take up too much writing space. Now I'm not going to jinx myself by saying, oh, I think I've got the knack of doing these now because, you know, it's sort of wrong. We'll go with that one. So, nice single one. Apparently, I need to cut my nails. They're far too long at the moment. They're driving me a little bit nuts. Eleanor loves it when they're this long. <laughs> she sits and plays with them. Funny. Having said that, I seem to remember I had an auntie who was very, very glamorous, and um, I'm pretty sure I used to sit and um, tweak with her nails. It's fine. It's fine. There. Right. Okay. So now, do I decorate or don't I? I've got some nice. Some bobs hanging around. They're a bit big, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I might just I might just leave them as is actually and put them in my um, stash, um, and then decorate them as I need them. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think I am. Um, let's put the. Um, because then, as I say, I can just, you know, if I'm doing a bird book or whatever, I can just, um, yeah, convince yourself, Susan, well done. What I might do is just try trusting the sticky stuff. I'm not going to stick it so far down this time. Because that is pretty sticky. I was going to use can snap out snaps actually because I've got those. I'll see what the time is, and if we've got time, I'll do one with a can snap because I use that when I'm making my bags and things. So I have got the machine and the sticky things. Yeah, these are great fun. I so say they're really, yeah. Yeah, good idea. So I think I'm going to stick that Christmas one on the inside of the front cover. That's okay now. Hmm. Okay. Right. Let's see. Um. Sorry, I was just thinking away there. How long will it be going? I might be able to do one. Right, okay. Two seconds. Let me just grab my snap machine. Don't know how good it is with um card, but let's give it a go, shall we? I've got a full on pink bit here. Not me at all, but you know, it's not for me. Uh where can I put you? Right, let's just do this quickly. Keep it to the same size. Oh dear. Don't worry, she's a very well cared for child. <laughs> she hurt that. She's just fallen over, I expect. Now. 
we might be covering up quite a bit of this one <laughs> it's very pink isn't it whoa I do like the rounded corners, so I'm going to carry on with that. Do you know what I mean when I say it just looks friendlier? You know, it's not so rigid. I think friendly is the right word, anyway. Right, um, cancel that for you. So, this is how I do it. Use a piece of this. Pokey cool. The edges are lined up. Okay. Use a ruler, Susan, because you'll never get the centre. Let's do it in centimetres because. Right, in centimetres. We've got quite a bit of overlap there, so we go five. I want it that low, probably. Right. Okay. These are really great little machines, these. I guess we ought to go pink. Yeah, I use these quite a lot, as you can probably see. Good lilac. So if you've never seen one of these before, you obviously need the machine. You need two spikes, spiky things. Okay, two of those, and then you need a inny and an outy, as I call them. Um, I'll show you the difference. One's got like a rim on the edge, and the other one hasn't. It's uh, it receives that basically. Yeah, it's it comes with instructions. I shouldn't worry too much, and there are plenty of videos on YouTube on how to use these things. Okay, so all you got to do is you need a spiky on the outside, and it doesn't matter which way round you do this, inny or outy, it doesn't matter. I just give them a little shove together and then you line it up with the black bit on the snap bit on the spiky bit let's call it spike black bit on spike and here we go come on behave and then squeeze and it squishes the spike basically now you need to do the opposite here I have the spike on the inside. You can obviously do all your decoration before you do this if you want to, but I might cover those. Hopefully it's gonna reach. Are you gonna reach? Oh darn you. Oh you didn't think of that, did you, Susan? Nope. Right, okay, well there's one way. Just need to come down a little bit so I'm gonna do that there and you've now can reach now oh, there's a will didn't quite go flat enough that's okay right and then you've got a 
and that's all you do. I know when I first got it, I was like, <gasps> this is going to be so hard. But actually, it really wasn't. Right. Um, might have to put a reinforcement in there, actually. really tight how are we doing for time <laughs> oh, we're at 45 shall I just quickly do this one I'll quickly do this one we won't decorate yet but I think there is all sorts of I say you can do the um the circular thing oh, I can't remember what they're called is it solicitors letters you know the binder things I can't remember what they're called but you have circles yeah you do the stringy thing Oh, I can't remember. Anyway, it's probably easier actually. Whoop, he slipped. I think the velcro is easier. I don't trust that. That is incredibly tight. They're not normally. It's fairly thick card, but. Hmm, might use that up after use. I'll keep trying it. <laughs> if not, I'll take it out and uh... right now we know it doesn't cut through three, but it might just mark it enough. pain it's fine everything's going against me right now my equipment everything <laughs> my snaps when you do this just make sure you got the right side up or down the opening i don't know what i'm trying to say I need to hoover my floor, it is absolutely covered. Okay, well, I'm sure you get the idea. I know Rachel was an awful lot more successful than me than she normally is, so um, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff, it's fine. I don't make as many, oh, I don't sell as many journals as um, Rachel does. I know she's in great demand, isn't she? So um, I don't tend to make a ton of ephemera. Oh, I can sneak that one in now. I prefer that. Um, yeah, so, you know, her and Gail obviously make loads because they sell loads, but... Um, I don't, know what, I don't know what I was going to put on the end of that sentence. Nothing, really. <laughs> Mine plod along. Oh, do you know, that's too wide. Oh, well. I don't think this will be going anywhere, this one. Because I don't, I don't think those snaps are going to be up to much. Well, she says to do that actually, not to not to have them right to the edge. Doesn't make much difference, does it? I think Rachel said actually, if you wanted, if you didn't want to stick these, you could sew them just to give that extra bit of de um, decoration if you wanted. But 
I mean, sticking is fine. I mean, you know, it works. So, anyway, I'm going to stop yabbering. So, there we are. Um, yeah, thankfully, I've got all these bits and bobs ready because I think I'd have run out of time ages ago. So, I've done my little Christmas one, which I'm very happy with. That's going to go in my little Christmas hedgehogs. Uh, obviously, this one I'd pre-made. Um, so, really, I've only done three, and I don't think that one's going to be successful, but it doesn't matter. There we are. <laughs> I'll chuck that in just for the just for the heck of it. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna leave that one undecorated. Um, and yeah, I can just chuck some stuff in there and decorate the cover as I want to. And I think that's probably the best way. If you haven't got a journal in mind, which I did for that one, as I said, but if you don't, I think it's best just to leave them like that and then decorate them. Or unless, like you know, like with Rachel, she's got a specific style. So. Um, I'm going to stop blathering on and I'll let you go. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it was all in screen. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Bye.